It's a matchup between two contending EDC soccer teams. There are Red River fans, West Fargo fans, and a set of parents caught in the middle. It's usually pretty quiet up here. Yeah, it's usually pretty quiet. <laughs> we hope for ties, and one of us gets ahead, and then you have to be quiet. Trayton Mullen and Keenan Burning are on opposing teams, but they have more in common than just wearing the number 12. We grew up together in 6th, 7th grade. Our parents got married, and then... We started kicking it around in the backyard about 12, 13. With their parents watching on, the stepbrothers met up for the final time on the soccer field Tuesday night. We try to keep our space on the field just because we don't want to hurt each other and because he's got hockey and other sports. And I, I, I kind of think opposite feeling. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I'm seeing you next to me, I might go a little harder. Good job, Keenan! Despite their friendly competition and some admissions of smack talk, Trayton and Keenan can respect each other's games. He has picked it up really fast. I've been playing since I was really little, and it's, it kind of surprises me how much he's picked it up since just starting in high school. Trayton's got one of the better shots in the state, but that's just, that's just what I got to say. All other things aside, this turned into a pretty good game between Red River and West Fargo. The Riders handing the Packers their first loss of the season, one to nothing. Last time we met, West Fargo won one to zero. So I thought it would be cool to be a tie. So, so now so we're actually tied. So we're two and two against each other, but uh, unfortunately, they won state last year. So <laughs> they took that. The bond between the two, though, goes much further than just competition on the soccer field. It's a lot of fun because he's brought in some friends into my life, and he's and I brought in some friends into his life. Playing on the field with each other, coming at each other as hard as we can, and. Then after the game, when we say good game and talk a little bit. And while this was the last scheduled meeting between the two, perhaps this sibling rivalry will have another chapter down the road. I hope I can play you in that last game of state. <laughs> yeah, but. that'll be good. Reporting for Sports Sunday, I'm Phil Newman.